Welcome back everyone to another Kerbal Space Program video and today is a special day because we're going to be taking a look at Kerbal Space Program version 1.11 Some Reassembly Required, the latest and greatest free update to the game. This update is all about the addition of new extravehicular activity activities. <laughs> Firstly, and perhaps the most excitingly, the game now has something called EVA Construction Mode. Ever accidentally forgotten to add an essential component to a vessel, or simply want to add a newly unlocked part to an existing craft like a space station? Well, now you can! Kerbal engineers can now get out and modify a vessel using the new laser welder tool. Using this tool, you can move, remove, and add parts to a craft, and the EVA construction window has all the useful indicators present in the vehicle assembly building and space plane hangar, such as the center of mass, center of lift, and center of thrust indicators. Engineer Kerbals can now also repair a wide number of parts. Previously, this was limited to just broken wheels, but now, provided you arm your Kerbals with the brand new repair kit, you can repair a vast number of different parts that may have been damaged during your missions, from solar panels to wheels to communications dishes and more. In order to facilitate the new construction feature, Squad have brought the cargo storage system from the Breaking Ground DLC into the stock game and have added several new cargo containers as well, just in case the existing containers aren't big enough for the parts you need, as you need to be mindful of volume limits. Command pods and crew modules also have space for cargo and their masses have been altered to reflect the number of Kerbals on board. The baseline mass of something like the Mark II crew cabin, for example, is now lighter than it was before, unless you populate it with Kerbals who now directly affect the mass of a ship, so a fully crewed vessel will weigh slightly more than an uncrewed vessel. And speaking of the Kerbals, they now have much more diverse inventory space. Now, you can remove their parachutes and jetpacks, and these can be swapped out for other useful items or just removed entirely to save mass. You don't really need the EVA pack when doing things like EVE landing, so this can be very useful when trying to optimize payload mass. In addition to new cargo containers, we also have a number of other new parts in the game. There are several new lights, both attachable and deployable, and new light functionalities, such as a blink mode and a much more intuitive color option UI. There are new smaller RCS units and new RCS block variations as well, including the long-desired five-port RCS block, perfect for two-way symmetry on space planes. There's a spare EVA fuel cylinder as well to extend your Kerbal's EVA endurance, and there's a new EVA science kit for Kerbals to do some very scientific science experiments when exploring the surface of other celestial bodies. To finish things off, the Julian moons Tylo, Pol, Bop, and Val are the latest celestial bodies to receive high quality texture revamps, meaning that there's just Elu to go in Squad's mission to make the stock planet textures all epic looking. I'll showcase these a little more in depth in Saturday's regularly scheduled Kerbal Space Program video, in which we'll be doing a Jewel 5 mission, landing on every moon of Jewel and bringing along every science experiment with us, including the new EVA science kits and some of the new deployable objects as well, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Anyway, that's pretty much a wrap on all of the best things that come along with this update. There are a plethora of smaller things like bug fixes and quality of life improvements. For example, launch clamps are always added to the first stage of a vessel by default now, but I'll let you find these out in your own time when you play this update for yourselves. Let me know down below what your favorite part of this update is, but if you want to check out more videos from me, then there are now links on screen. The left hand side is a link chosen for you by YouTube's recommendation AI based on your viewing habits. The video on the right is just my most recent uploads, that'll be a space this week, I believe. And in the description you can find links to my new merch and social media and Discord and stuff. Uh, that's it. 